Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can use a Q font dialog class in Qt. The Q font dialog class provides a dialog widget for selecting a font. Now, for uh, this uh, demonstration, I will be using my uh, code from the last video in which I have shown you how we can uh, create a Q uh, T notepad right so if you haven't seen that video in which I have shown you how we can create a simple notepad then uh, watch it and I will be using uh, the code uh, from the same video right so uh, this is the project I have created in the notepad uh, video and I will go to my main window.ui file and in here I was using a uh, text edit to enter some text right and I had some buttons uh, for uh, you know cut copy paste or open a file or save a file right now in the menu here in the edit menu I have cut copy paste and then uh, redo and undo now for example I want to add one more uh, menu item here which is for selecting the font so how I, I can do this so what I'm going to do is first of all I will uh, add a separator here and then after adding a separator I will add the new menu here and for example this menu is called font okay and I'm not going to provide uh, the toolbar button for this I think you know how we can uh, you know drag and drop this uh, font action uh, to here and provide the icon to it right so I'm not going to uh, you know show you how you can uh, do this I will just show you how this work this font dialog works so I've created the sub menu called font here right now what I'm going to do next here is I will go to uh, this action which is created by creating this sub menu which is this action and I will right click on it and I will click go to slot and in the go to slot I will just click triggered okay so just click triggered and click ok and this is going to create a function for us right now in here in order to uh, you know open a font dialog and apply it to our edit text first of all we need a boolean operator to uh, check whether any font is selected or not okay so just uh, declare a variable for example ok right and then uh, in the next line what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, create an object of Q font so for that we need to add uh, this header class to our uh, header so just include Q font dialog in here so just write Q font uh, dialog which is this one and we will also include Q font so just add Q font here okay which will be with Q okay so Q font dialog and Q font now we are going to create in here a Q font object so just write a Q font and then give it a name for example font itself is equal to we will use a Q font dialog so what we want to do here is using a Q font dialog we want to select a font and assign it to this font variable right so just write uh, Q font dialog and there is a static method here which is get font so just use this method and the first argument here you can see is uh, the boolean pointer which is this one so what we are going to do here is we will provide the reference to this boolean uh, uh, variable which we have created which is uh, this variable right the second argument here is the parent class so just provide this here and it has some overloads so if you want or if you know which font uh, you want then you can directly provide this font uh, in here right in the next argument so we are not going to do this we just need these two argument here now once you know the argument and once any argument or any font is selected then we want to just proceed forward so if this font is 
ok this variable will be set and if this font is uh, ok then we will uh, do something or otherwise we will uh, just return so you can just say else return because uh, this is a void so you can just uh, return empty uh, return something like this but if uh, your uh, font is selected and uh, there is some font selected by the user then we want to set it on the added text right so how we can set it so for adding the font you just need to call your uh, text edit here so just call add text edit and then you can just set the font using a function called uh, set font okay so just use set font and then it takes this argument which is the object of uh, q font so you can pass it here okay so this is how you can set the font to your uh, q edit and this is how you can uh, use q file font dialog and let's see how it works so we are going to run our application and we will see how uh, will it work when it runs so for example uh, i write something here some uh, random uh, text here any text okay and then i want to change the font size and everything for the, this uh, file dialog or edit text right so what i'm going to do is i will go to edit and i will click font and it's going to open this font dialog here and here you we can choose uh, any font uh, let's choose some font i don't know which font to choose it uh, but let's see which font we can choose from here let's choose any uh, random font from here so i'm going to choose uh, this font and i will say bold and i will make it little bit bigger so we can see the text so for example 28 or 36 and click ok and this font is applied to our text here right once again we can just go to font and change the font for example ms outlook this time we want uh, italic and then we want uh, 28 font and click ok and this is applied right or once again you can go to font and some other for example times roman you can use and this time bold italic and once again we want to choose for example this time 48 and click ok and now this font is applied to your text right so in this way you can use uh, q font dialog in qt i hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now